Okay, we continue in chapter 3. Uh, I think this is the part uh, 3 for our video in chapter 3. Okay. Uh, we uh, try to discuss about the predicting revenue changes from uh, we continue with uh, predicting revenue changes from two product so before we discuss about the cost cross price elasticity so cross price elasticity play uh, an important role in pricing decision of firm uh, that sell uh, multiple products indeed many fast food restaurant offer hamburger for under one dollar because their manager realized that hamburger and sodas are complements. So when consumers buy a hamburger, a soda typically accompanies the purchase. Thus, by lowering the price of burger, a restaurant affects its revenue from both burger sales and soda sales. So the precise impact on this revenue depend on the own price and cross price elasticities of demand so specifically specifically we know from the total revenue test that a reduction in the price of hamburger will increase revenue from hamburger sales when the own price elasticity of demand for hamburger is elastic in addition since hamburger and sodas are complement reducing the price of hamburger increase the quantity demand of sodas thus increasing sodas revenue so the magnitude of the increase in soda revenue will depend on the magnitude of the cross price elasticity, elasticity of demand between burger and soda okay so we just discuss now about the product let's say the burger eh, and soda Okay, so that's between uh, these two example. So more, gener more, more generally, suppose a firm revenue are derived from the sales of two products, hmm? X and X and Y, for example. Eh? Okay, <coughs> so we may express the firm revenue as okay, maybe what we can uh, express here. Okay. Uh, okay, just ignore uh, here first. Okay, uh, we want to uh, get some explanation. So we may express the firm revenue as okay, C R okay, equal to revenue R X okay, revenue R X plus okay R Y okay. So where okay, when Rx equal to price x and quantity x. Okay. So denotes revenue from the sale of product x okay, and Ry. Okay. Equal to equal to P y and quantity y right so represent revenue from product y so the impact of a small percentage change in the price of products x yeah, of products x sorry <coughs> yeah, percentage revenue of products x equal to okay percentage Products. Okay, changes of product E and X. Okay, so on the total revenue of the firm, okay, is what we can see from from here. Okay, <coughs> so to to illustrate how to use this formula, uh, let's say, okay, we can use. Uh, the part okay. <coughs> Suppose a restaurant earn let's say four thousand per week in revenue from hamburger sale, eh? what we call as a product X. Okay, let's say uh, four thousand revenue, eh? revenue in hamburger. Use 
that as a products X. Huh? Okay, and then uh, let's say revenue per week for uh, soda is 2k. Okay, what we call as a product Y. So the impact of a small percentage change. Huh? Uh, so uh, thus we, we can see from here. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Uh, x okay. Uh, x equal to 4000 okay. and ry equal to sorry 2k right okay. so if the own price elasticity of demand for burger is okay. put that yes Elasticity of demand, the quantity of X. PX huh? equal to negative 1.5. Huh? And the cross price elasticity of demand between sodas and hamburger. Huh? Okay. E Q X P sorry X equal to the four point zero. Okay, what would happen to uh, the firm uh, total revenue if it's reduced the price of a hamburger by one? percent eh? so what happened is reduce the price of hamburger eh? reduce the price of hamburger of one percent so plugging these numbers eh? into the formula we can reveal eh? okay okay just ignore from here okay just ignore here first we continue with this okay we plugging this number there okay so let's say changes in revenue okay equal to okay 4000 okay by once minus 1.5 okay plus try to reduce we try to reduce by if one percent okay so that mean equal to 20 plus okay, 80 equal to one hundred dollar okay so that's the change of revenue when we use this okay we use this uh, formula okay okay so in other words uh, lowering the price of hamburger one percent huh? lowering the price of hamburger what by one percent increase total revenue by one hundred one hundred dollar okay so notice that 20 dollar of this increase come from increased burger revenue so the demand for burgers is elastic so the reduction in the price of burger increase hamburger revenue and 80 dollar of the increase is from additional soda sales that means uh, the demand for soda increased by four percent resulting in additional revenue of 80 dollar from soft drink sales okay all right 
And then we continue with income elasticity. Okay, income elasticity is a measure of responsiveness yeah, of consumer demand to changes in income. Okay. So mathematically, uh, the income elasticity of demand uh, denoted E, okay, quantity of X, okay, uh, of income here, okay, equal to percent, okay, percent of changes in quantity of X. Yeah, demands by percent of quantity of income, yeah, income. So we just maybe can remember income equal to money, okay, right. <coughs> so that means if okay, the uh, quantity of uh, elasticity or quantity of uh, demand, okay, quantity of uh, certain goods eh, on uh, income bigger than uh, zero then x is a normal good eh. x is a normal good that mean we can we want to see the responsiveness between uh, income and goods x okay so if the elasticity is bigger than zero then x is a normal good <coughs> but if elasticity of quantity of uh, goods X okay uh, and the responsiveness okay between the that's uh, goods to the income slower than zero then X is a inferior good okay inferior good So we can see from there, uh, from the above and from bef uh, 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 from previous uh, video, okay, uh, yes, some uses uh, some uses of elasticities. Okay? Uh, we calculate the elasticities uh, for uh, set a pricing, okay, to set a pricing, okay, and then uh, manage a cash flow, uh, okay. And then uh, impact of changes in competitor price, eh, income, uh, impact of economic boom and recession, okay, impact of advertising campaign, and lots, lots more, okay, lots, lots more. Okay. So from. Uh, here we can see some examples, okay, pricing and cash flow, eh, when we want to use elasticity as a tool for us to uh, use in pricing and cash flow, okay. For example, according to an uh, RTC report by Markle Ward, AT&T own price elasticity of demand for long distance service is negative 8 point. Seek for so AT and T needs to boost revenues in order to meet its marketing goals. To accomplish this goal, should AT and T raise or lower its price? So we see from here, okay. The answer since demand is elastic. Since demand is elastic, a reduction in price will increase quantity demanded by a greater percentage than the price decline, resulting in more revenue for. That means we can expect for more revenue for AT and T. That's the simple, direct answer, simple uh, question and direct answer. And then, uh, in purpose for quantifying the change. Eh? Uh, so this is another example. If AT and T lowered price by three percent, okay. So we take note about the. Uh, information that we they are given here. So what would happen to the volume of long distance telephone calls routed through AT and T? Okay. So answer is a call increase. Yeah, call would increase by twenty five point nine two percent. So how? Okay. We use just use uh, formula. Uh, that uh, we discussed before, uh, 
and then we calculate okay, from that formula we can guess okay, the answer to increase eh, call increase by uh, what happened when they uh, apa, uh, lower the price by 3% that means uh, the call increase by 25 point 25 point sorry 25 point 92 percent increase so that is a smart move okay and then the example three impact of change change in competitors price eh? so according to an ftc report by michael ward at the and the cross price elasticity of demand for long the distance service is 9.06 so if competitor yeah, if competitor reduce uh, can see the competitor price right so we can use this okay uh, and to forecast and maybe we want to see the responsiveness between the uh, between the competitor price yeah. if competitor reduce price by 4% what will happen to the demand for AT and T service okay whether it increase or decrease the demand okay so of course okay the common sense answer demand will fall yeah? uh, because the competitor price reduce price by four percent okay so of course okay you can see at demand will fall by but how many percent uh, before this maybe we just use as a qualitative but by using this elasticity uh, elasticity analysis we can Calculate eh, how many percent, eh, how many percent, let's say, for oh, 36.24 percent, okay, all right. So, uh, we can interpret, eh, uh, interpreting the demand function, yeah, using the mathematical representation of demand curve, okay. Yeah. Sorry about this uh, quantity of demand. Okay, equal to ten uh, minus two p plus three p minus a minus two m. So law of demand whole coefficient of p is negative. Uh, X and y are substitute. Coefficient of p is positive. Okay, p y is positive. X is an free good. Option of m is negative. So the how that we can use the mathematical uh, to represent uh, the demand curve uh, to interpret for demand function. <coughs> so we discussed this before. Okay, linear demand function and elasticity. General linear uh, demand uh, functions and elasticity. Okay. Okay. Own price elasticity. Okay. Uh, cross price elasticity income elasticity eh? right so this is an example for linear demand uh, some example i think uh, we uh, also uh, i also explained the uh, uh, example of this before okay own price elasticity and then uh, linear demand okay uh, general log linear demand function okay own price elasticity cross price and income elasticity okay so this is a graphical uh, representation of linear and log linear okay? so you can see uh, log linear demand is more practical okay log linear demand is more practical compared to the uh, linear demand here so in real world normally we can see uh, log linear demand is more practical eh? okay and we continue with regression analysis okay we continue with regression analysis So uh, the uh, preceding analysis assumes 
the manager knows the demand for a firm product so we pointed out uh, several studies that provide explicit and uh, estimate of demand elasticities and function form for demand function okay? so in uh, as a manager you may obtain estimate of demand and elasticity from published studies available in library or from consultant hired to estimate the demand function based on the specific of your product or you might enter data into spreadsheet program and click the regression toolbar to obtain an estimated demand function along with some regression diagnostic so regardless of how the manager obtain the estimates it is useful to have a general understanding of how demand function are estimate and what the various diagnostic statistic that accompany the reported output mean so this entail knowledge of a branch of economic called econometric so econometric uh, is simply the statistical analysis of economic data so this is uh, just example okay uh, normally we we just want uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier, okay. Uh, so regardless how uh, the manager obtain the estimate, this is useful. Just understand how that demand function are estimate. Eh? Okay. So we can use a spreadsheet, okay, to estimate the following log linear demand function. Okay. And you can see from uh, this uh, output, eh? summary output. Eh? Okay, we use to interpret eh, the uh, we uh, use the summary output and interpret the regression output the estimate long linear demand function okay okay in here okay so on price elasticity is inelastic okay So how good is your estimate? So T is testing of 5.29 and negative 2.8 indicate that the estimate coefficient are statistically different from zero. So R square of R, R square of 0 0.17 indicate the uh, in P X variable explain only 17% of the variation in uh, in Q X. So F okay. Uh, statistics significant at the one percent level. Okay. So in conclusion, elasticity are tools eh, you can use to quantify the impact of changes in price, income, and advertising on sale and revenue. So given market or survey data, regression analysis can be used to estimate demand function, eh, uh, elasticities, a host of other things including cost function. So manager can quantify the impact of changes in price, income, and advertising, and etc. Right. So that's all for uh, uh, chapter number three. Okay. So in summary, this chapter actually uh, we covered quantitative aspect of demand analysis, including the own price elasticity, income elasticity, cross price elasticity of demand. Okay? So as we examine functional form, eh? we examine a functional form for demand function including linear and log linear specification 
and discuss the regression uh, procedure used to estimate demand relationship. But we not discuss too much about that. Okay. Uh, we just focus on uh, more on uh, income elasticity, on price elasticity, and then uh, we we saw uh, that increasing price does not always increase revenue. So if the absolute value of own price elasticity is elasticity is greater than one and increase in price will decrease total revenue so we also covered the magnitude of changes caused by change in price of substitute or substitute or complement okay all right see you again thank you very much have a nice day